right, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. And today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new 2021 Lee Max Christmas Grove Skating Rink. Let's get into it. Okay, so the Christmas Grove Skating Rink. This one is absolutely beautiful, but it's a tough one to find. Uh, it is a Michaels exclusive, and that is part of the reason. Uh, and of course, you know, with COVID shipping delays, things like that, it took about three weeks for me to find one at a store, and even then it was about an hour away from me. And I have about, I don't know, at least three or four Michaels in my area, and none of them, uh, you know, had it. And I ended up finding one at a store that randomly happened to get two in one of their shipments, and they held it for me, which is really awesome. So it's worth calling ahead. I did attempt to buy it on their website quite a few times, but it just never panned out in my favor. So anyways, there is a lot to see. This is one of my favorite pieces from this year, and I'm super excited to review it. So let's dive right into all the specs and everything, and then we'll move on from there. Okay, so it was released in 2021, and of course, it was a Michaels exclusive. The SKU number, both used for Michaels and Lee Max, will be 14870. Now, some dimensions. This one is pretty big, so it's going to take up some space in your village, but I think it justifies it. So let's take a look. We are looking at 8.3. 46 inches high by 13.19 inches wide by 12.20 inches deep. So really guys, this is a really big layout and you kind of expect that from a skating rink because if you think about it in real life they're pretty big right so okay uh, product type is sights and sounds and it is made of plastic now power it is a 4.5 volt standard dc adapter that it does include with your purchase now do not put this one on one of those multi adapters because the draw on this is about 430 milliamps which knocks about half of those out out the gate and it will just lead to problems, I promise. Oh, one thing I did want to share before I forget, uh, it's very important that on this particular piece that you actually turn it off from the switch, not from like a power, you know, strip or something like that, because it has to reset, uh, you know, power down, if you will. Uh, so it's ready for the next time you turn on. So really, really important. Make sure you turn the switch all the way down and then it'll go for a little bit. Once it's reset, it will turn off. Okay, uh, it does have a all-in-one uh, power volume switch like you'd see on a lot of the standard houses, and the price is $149.99. Now, however, since they've started hitting stores, Michael has already had them at 40% off, so that tremendously helps, but this is one of those pieces that really justifies the money, even at full price. Okay, so we dove in, we took a look at all the specs, all the finer details, so let's get into the greatness that is this piece. So so there's a few things off the top I want you to know before we even get moving here. Uh, when I purchased this, they had two of them at the store, and I ended up picking this one because it looked great. Everything was, you know, reasonably well. And I noticed, though, once I got home, I didn't see this at the store, but in the back where the band is, you'll see they're missing a keyboard player. Uh, this was not something I noticed at the store. I thought it was just a missing mark. I didn't even know, like, you know, if you look, there's like some glue and stuff. I didn't even know there was actually somebody there until I got home to do this review. So my plan is to contact Lamax about this or see if I can find a Michaels to exchange them. Uh, either way, I think it will work out, but I did want to note that, you know, I always give it to you guys as it comes, and this is how mine came. All right. Uh, Secondly, when you open this piece up, there is a little bit of assembly um, and some stuff that is a little bit newer uh, than any other house I've seen. So I want to cover that as well. Uh, so when you open it up, it will have this foam compartment full of a bunch of things, a lot of figures, a couple giant trees, and just be delicate when you're pulling these out because you know you don't want to break them, chip them, things like that. Uh, but it gets a little tricky because when you go to put all the figures on the skating rink, uh, there's not really a clear path of, at least when you're looking at the rink itself, of where all the figures go. There is an image on the directions, but it, even with that, it was pretty hard for me to find all the magnets and exactly where everything went just perfectly. Um, you know, it's a guide, it helps, but for me, I found that just kind of feeling around for the magnets was probably the best, you know, plan of attack because it just, it's a little tricky when there's that many of them, but totally worth it. 
Hey guys, so real quick, I wanted to pop in. This little clip here is coming to you after this video was already filmed. Um, I think you might hear me somewhere in the video mention, uh, I was really having some problems trying to figure out exactly where all the people went because there's so many of them. And I was saying in the end that it was just easier for me to actually just kind of fill around with each figure into you know wherever the magnet would connect kind of thing. Um, I, I did look at the instructions and, and it just for some reason wasn't clicking. But um, basically it turns out that on the directions where it shows all those little snowflakes, they actually are there on the skating rink, and each snowflake represents, um, you know, where a figure should go. And because of the power down cycle, the magnets will line up. Therefore, um, you know, that's where the figures will go. Uh, so it was, you know, I was struggling a little bit initially, but after I kind of sat around for a little bit, it made a lot more sense. So just kind of look for the snowflakes. You'll see them there. Uh, just look closely because they'll blend in a little bit. But uh, once you find them, go ahead and put your magnets on with your figures and you will be just fine. All right, back to the video. Okay, now the Christmas trees. This is uh, kind of that new thing I was just talking about here. They have like these little magnets slash you know, prong things that got to line up for the trees to power up and lock in. Uh, really cool because you can store the trees separately without, you know, bending them, going into the box and things like that. Uh, and then when you're ready to use them, you can just literally pop them on and they light up and they look amazing. They did not go cheap here, people. Uh, the lights on the trees are really uh, brilliant. I, I think technically the color would be like surreal, I, I, I think. Like one of those like high definition surreal colored lights. Like the LEDs are ultra bright on them. I mean, they're just absolutely phenomenal. And we're going to take a closer look here in a second, but even the stars light up super exciting. Okay. So set up the figures, the trees. Uh, it just takes a little bit of time because you got to fill out the magnets, but you get what I'm going with here. All right. So once you've powered it up and put all your figures on trees on, this is what you get. You'll probably have a piano player, but uh, hopefully I will too as well. But for now, this is kind of what it would look like. So uh, right off the top, there's quite a few things you notice other than just, of course, the obvious size. Uh, the trees, like I just went on about, they are absolutely phenomenal. And because there's two of them, one on each side, it really helps bring that stage to life here. And it just like the, the whole setting is just brilliant. And if you can see, we'll actually get in closer here on the stage. You will see that the stage is actually like interacting with the music. There's like some lights changing, the band's dancing. They got a really cool sign that says Christmas Grove Skating Rink right there in the center. And it's just a really beautiful piece and awesome soundtrack, by the way, which we'll take a listen to here in a little bit. Uh, but anyway, so that's really cool. And then if you come down a little bit, you're actually even going to see what you would, you know, like advertisement kind of stuff that you would see at like a normal skating rink. And this this case they're like cool little sayings like seasons greetings you know happy holidays things like that all right so that brings us to the ice one of the biggest things that I noticed that really drove me to this piece other than of course you know the, the lighting and the trees and the size and whatnot was how smooth okay really really listen here how smooth they glide okay it really appears like it's ice this is probably if not the smoothest ice rink I've ever seen by any manufacturer. I mean, it is absolutely stunning. Yes, I know there's a bunch out there, and I'm sure there's some that are really smooth as well, but this one, I mean, if you just compare it to like the average skating rink even, it just blows it out of the water. So I think it would definitely compete with one of the best. And it's absolutely silent, which was also a trend in the 2021 Spooky Town as well. I noticed all the newer houses have been just silent, and this is no exception. So you get the glide and the silence all in one. So it's absolutely beautiful. And the details and the people as well, as many as there are, uh, really is, is nice. I'm gonna try to see if I can bring you in here to see a little bit. Uh, they're moving so the camera might have some trouble, but a lot of color in the outfits, which I really, really like, and a nice wide variety of just people and colors and, and just sizing. I mean, all around, it's had something to offer. It was really well-rounded. Like you got kids to adults to, I mean, just the band, everything. You really get everything here. Uh, all right, 
Also, I wanna cover this LED strip here in the front. It does go all around uh, the piece, you know, up on the sides, etc. I'll try to get a view of that for you up on the screen. But anyways, uh, I think it's really neat. They are not as bright as I was hoping. They're actually a little dimmer for sure. And I think really they just look that way because the trees are so bright, but uh, they don't uh, flash or move and neither do the trees. They're just kind of solid on. Um, is that a missed opportunity? Eh, it might be, you know, uh, the trees being solid actually works out because there's so much lighting happening on the stage. So I was totally cool with that. But in the front, yeah, I think there could have been some lighting there or something, you know, just to, to spice it up. But anyways, it's there. It's a cool choice. And I think this LED strip you're going to see on a few of the houses this year um, used in different formations. We'll probably see those in some of our reviews. But anyways, overall, this piece is absolutely stunning. It has something to offer for everybody. And really with the coupon, it's just, uh, you can't beat it. Now, you have to have space for it because it's not the smallest piece in the world. But when I look back on the 2021 Christmas material, this is gonna be probably my favorite or one of the top. And I plan to do some kind of video of my favorites from Halloween and my favorites from Christmas. So we'll see as I review the rest of them. This is only, I think, my second or third one I'm reviewing so far. I'm going to get these out to you guys as soon as I can. But, you know, with shipping and stuff like that, I can only get them as they come. But anyways... I really love it. I think it's going to be right at the top of my list this season. Um, uh, you know, as far as the missing the keyboard guy, we're going to go ahead, our piano guy, I'm going to go ahead and, and try to, you know, see if I can either get the part replaced from Lamax or just exchange it overall. Um, but yeah, I love it. I was so looking forward to this piece. It's absolutely amazing. You will love it too. So all that said, I want you to hear the soundtrack, see how this all comes together at night. It's just phenomenal. I could just go on and on and on. So let's cut to it. Thank you as always for continuing to support my channel. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you on the next one.